You're about to read a great text by one of my favorite authors. This type of text is called a narrative vignette. And just to remind you, a narrative vignette is a close examination of a particular character, concept, event, or place. It really focuses in on one moment in time. Unlike a short story, which goes, which has a story arc or can have a beginning, middle, and end, a narrative vignette is a real tight focus on one moment. Sandra Cisneros is the awesome author of this text, and she's a poet, short story writer, novelist, essayist, performer, and an artist. Her work explores the lives of the working class, and she's won numerous awards um, over the decades. Her classic novel is The House on Mango Street, which is also one of my favorites, and she lives in the United States and Mexico. She has a dual citizenship. Check out her website or follow her on Instagram for more information. While we read her narrative vignette entitled My Name, we're going to be focusing on the theme of the story. And there could be several themes. And we're also going to be focusing on the metaphors and similes that she uses throughout her text. So let's begin. My Name by Sandra Cisneros. In English, my name means hope. In Spanish, it means too many letters. It means sadness. It means waiting. It is like the number nine, a muddy color. It is the Mexican records my father plays on Sunday mornings when he is shaving. Songs like sobbing. It was my great grandmother's name and now it is mine. She was a horsewoman too born like me in the Chinese year of the horse, which is supposed to be bad luck if you're born female. But I think this is a Chinese lie because the Chinese, like the Mexicans, don't like their women strong. My great grandmother, I would have liked to have known her, a wild horse of a woman, so wild she wouldn't marry, until my great grandfather threw a sack over her head and carried her off. Just like that, as if she were a fancy chandelier. That's the way he did it. And the story goes, she never forgave him. She looked out the window her whole life, the way so many women sit in their sadness on an elbow. I wonder if she made the best with what she got, or was she sorry because she couldn't be all the things she wanted to be? Esperanza. I have inherited her name but I don't want to inherit her place by the window. At school, they say my name funny as if the syllables were made out of tin and hurt the roof of your mouth. But in Spanish, my name is made out of soft or something, like silver, not quite as thick as sister's name, Magdalena, which is uglier than mine. Magdalena, who can at least come home and become Nenny, but I am always Esperanza. I would like to baptize myself under a new name, a name more like the real me, the one nobody sees. Esperanza as Lisandra or Maritza or ZZ the X. Yes, something like ZZ the X will do.